To watch Zoe grow and excel in this sport has been very exciting. She was always very crazy as a kid, trying all the skills that everyone else was afraid to, so that was exciting. The characteristics that I like most in Zoe are she's hardworking, she's determined, she has a hard time saying no or like, we're done, so she'll just keep going, which is a good thing. It's part of that drive. It's been very rewarding as a coach. She's always been consistently here for over a decade now, I think. So she's had a lot of really good moments and, and made a lot of memories here. And she's always been a really strong teammate and leader within all the groups growing up. So yeah, it's been, it's been a pleasure coaching Zoe so far and looking forward to more success in the future as well. Zoe staying at a high level in double mini specifically takes a lot of commitment in terms of showing up every day and working hard when she's here. She's very focused and passionate when she's here about what she's doing and she really focuses on detail to the point where it's gotten her to the, to the top level in our sport. My greatest reward, coaching Zoe, has seen her achieve a lot of her goals. She is very outcome and goal driven, and so to see her accomplish and achieve her dreams has been really rewarding. I would say gymnastics has mostly helped me learn resilience. You've had to push through a lot of hard times, like injuries and lockdowns due to COVID. And I think the skills I've learned from that will help me a lot later in life. Most of my time right now is taken up by school. I'm a full-time university student. So other than training, I don't have a lot of free time, but when I do, I like to spend time with my friends or teammates or my dog. I would say the main obstacle I've had to overcome was training through all those lockdowns. Our gym was shut down for three months and we were back for a couple months Then we were shut down for another two months. And just trying to train through all those periods of absences was very hard and it really tested my mental strength. But just the motivation of trying to get back in the gym is what got me through it. I personally like to travel, so the international meets I look forward to more. You get time to tour around the city and compete somewhere new with competitors from all over the world and it's always a really cool experience. My favorite event in gymnastics would have to be double mini trampoline. It's the one I found the most success in in my career. I think it's very exciting. You get to run fast and go high and do lots of cool skills. I think it's also the most fun to watch and it's just a very exciting event. I would say just enjoy every moment you have and try not to worry about results too much. It may seem like a big deal at the time when you fall at a meet, but it's the sport and it happens and just trying to enjoy the other moments of the sport is really important. I would like to thank my coaches first off, Aaron, Steven and Colton and our strength and conditioning coach Sheila. I wouldn't be where I am without them today. I wouldn't have any of the accomplishments I have without them. And also just my parents for supporting me through all the highs and lows of gymnastics.